Now this video also solves a stupid error. Uh, I've created an Angular component and embedded my, uh, in this case, a mat material spinner. Inside I imported my classes for uh, my references for this uh, spinner, material spinner. And now the error comes up. Error in this component. Uh, ng 8001 mat uh, spinner, that's my control, uh, uh, is not a known element. If mat program spinner is an Angular component, then verify that it is part of the module. That's the solution. Or uh, if it's a web component, then add custom elements schema to the ng module schemas. So quite simple. We are ha you have to go there and you have to embed or import the uh, reference to this um, to this uh, class. So this is I imported uh, the material and uh, Angular materials and here in uh, import ng module imports I have to say here this no, not mat browser where is it mat progress spinner and now I'm when I'm saving it's compiling and there's still some error uh, yeah this is because I have an other error here in my module And the problem was that I here in my uh, not in material call I included the wrong one. So this is a material uh, progress uh, spinner, and it's not from material core. It is here in my. This is the one. Mat progress spinner module. This is necessary for the, in the documentation for the spinner. And now I'm saving it again. Mat progress spinner. What's wrong now? Oh, that's because I didn't wait on my point here. So this is not imported in my uh, in my duplicated ah it's duplicated that's why I didn't run it up to that point so I'm throwing that out again and I'm progress spinner progress spinner module so we need the module in here and not the spinner itself and then we have the mat progress spinner module Might progress spinner module. There it is. Now I'm saving it again. And here it is. And on my website, uh, it's also compiling. So the reason was to import the uh, module which is necessary. In this case, it was uh, from Material IO, and I had to import this part into the uh, into the app modules mo module.ts.